You're looking at the documentation for the change method of the Win32 service class in WMI. Now, this particular method allows you to change almost anything about a service that you want to. Display name, path name, start mode, and so forth. I want to display or change the start password. Now, the trick is, if you pass in a null value for these, then it won't make any changes to those. So I only need to provide a null value for the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then the eighth parameter will be my password. Because I don't want to change the load order group dependencies or service dependencies, I can simply omit those and they will be accepted as null and won't make any changes. So I need to send in seven nulls and then the new password. Now normally you might think to try doing this with invoke method. Unfortunately, I've never had success using invoke method, and I think it has something to do with having to pass in all of those nulls. So this is where we have to come down to kind of the ultimate backup plan in PowerShell, and that's the for each object commandlet. So I'm going to write my command get wmi object class win32 service. I only don't I don't want to obviously change the logon password of every single service, so I'm going to provide a filter. I'm just going to get the ones where the name is bits. Bits is a service I like to play with in these demonstrations because if I break it, I'm not going to really disable anything that's fundamentally important to the operating system's day-to-day -day operations. And then I'm going to pipe this to for each object. And I need to provide a process script block, so that's going to go in those curly brackets. Now, the idea is that this script block will execute one time for each thing I piped in. If I had get WMI object retrieving services from multiple computers by using the computer name parameter, then I might get multiple services back. And for each object would process each one of them one at a time. When it does so, dollar sign underscore will represent the object that it is currently trying to process. Now I actually need to access a method, so I'm going to use a dot after that, which tells it that I'm trying to access one of the members, a property or method of the currently processed object and the method I want to access is change. And my parameters are going to go in parentheses. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nulls, and then the new password. Return value of zero means everything works fine. So for each object is a command that you can use anytime you're getting a bunch of things and you need to do something to each one of them one at a time but you don't have another commandlet that should be doing it for you now you might ask yourself well why don't I just use the set service commandlet after all I could pipe I could take get service pipe all those services to set service and I wouldn't have to have all this nonsense well unfortunately the startup password is one of the things that set service is not designed to actually change so I have to resort to WMI now ideally I could have done get WMI and piped it to invoke WMI method, but as I said, I've never been able to get that to work with this particular WMI method. So I fall back to the backup plan for each object and just run through each object one at a time, execute its change method, give it the parameters I want, and let it do it.